guys in four practices coach? In the four yeah. so far? Um, they're doing well. Um, you know, Adrian's come back. He's a bit of a vet. So is Logan after having a year under his belt and Matty Masker. Um, and uh, Heinrich Hartberg is, is doing a nice job, um, both in terms of how he tested out and uh, getting a chance to operate the system. He's doing pretty good. So it's been good so far. What do you specifically want to see from Adrian in these 15 practices? No more freaking turnovers. That's it. You got just got to take care of the damn football, you know. Seriously, um, I know Coach Frost mentioned <clears throat> the, the Rutgers game was probably the worst game and the best game I've ever seen, you know. Um, so, uh, if you can eliminate the turnovers and take care of the football, and if he truly cares about his teammates, like I know he does, uh, evidenced by his behavior, you know, at the the Penn State game. Right? So if he cares like about his guys like I know he does, then you know, take care of the ball. You know, those guys on defense don't don't want to see turnovers. I don't want to see turnovers. Coach Frost absolutely does not want to see turnovers. What have you seen him do to address that? Well, he's more conscious, uh, at least in, 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 in the little bit of time that we've had, the practices we've had, about um, if 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 uh, things are open, great, particularly when you're on the move. And if they're not, they're closed, then let's burn or burst. He's a good enough athlete. You know, uh, get us five yards with your legs. Get us ten yards with your legs. You never know what's going to happen after that. So um, that's been a point of emphasis, particularly for the guys in, in the quarterback room. So sometimes in terms of fumbling the ball, it comes when you're trying to get extra yards. I mean, you yeah, I, I'm, that yeah and, and that was uh, – you know, I, I know he's playing hard. I know he wants to make plays. I know he wants to do the right thing. But there comes a point where that um, sort of extra effort, if you will, gets you, gets you in trouble. You know, um, So l- let the defense do their job. Uh, the defense is going to win one now and again. You know, Not every play is going to be a touchdown pass or an 80-yard run or whatever it might be. Just take care of the ball. Be smart. Be judicious. Take care of your teammates most of all. Yeah. I mean, where would you say chemistry is between your group and that group compared to last Well, that, that, that from a, from a uh, player-to-player standpoint, but just him getting to understand uh, and get to know Coach Lubick, you know, after one year. You know, we, we, we lost that opportunity last year. Um, so, as you've mentioned, having those group of receivers back for a second year is, is, has been good so far. And um, also with Coach Lubick back, and now it just has to show up from snap to snap, from play to play uh, during practice. How comfortable are you with just the overall depth in the room, big picture, in terms of if an injury happened to Adrian, how comfortable would you be right now with that depth in that quarterback? Uh, well, uh, from, from a, a knowledge standpoint, really comfortable. The, the, the guys in the, in the room know the offense, including – Harburg. Now it's just a matter of him getting some operating time with it. Um, so if, if, if something were to, to happen to Logan, I mean to, to Adrian, I felt like those guys would be able to step in. What are a couple of the biggest to-do items for Logan? Uh, the biggest to-do items for Logan uh, is actually very similar to, to, to Heinrich in, in a way of just getting the opportunity to operate the system. You know, he, he didn't get any spring reps. Uh, his reps during fall were obviously limited. So this is like his spring ball. So just getting an opportunity to, to take the snaps, make the right keys and reads, and put the ball where it needs to be put. How much do you think he got out of last year, even though it was such a strange, disjointed year, he didn't get the spring and stuff, but how, how did he come out of that? Uh, say, the, uh, say that last part. I mean, how much did he get out of it, even though it was oh, such yeah. a for, from from a knowledge standpoint, it was it was good. You know, he 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 had to learn the offense, got tested, and all that sort of stuff, and um, learn the signals and all of that sort of business. Right. Um, the thing that, as you asked earlier, and that I commented on, was just operating the system, getting snaps, taking taking those snaps, and making sure you can apply what you have in your head to how it's going to be on the field.
Yeah, he, um, he, he tested out real well. Um, he, he gained about 10 pounds, 11 pounds, and uh, lost some seconds in his 40, uh, which is a tribute to Coach DeVal and Coach Drop and those guys. Um, and we're just cleaning his stroke up. It looks good right now, and every day is a, a new day and a new challenge to, to, to build those reps so that he feels comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I do okay with Zooms. I'm really not a – I'm better when I'm in front of players and their parents. I feel a heck of a lot more comfortable that way. Um, but from that standpoint, it's, it's been good. Uh, you can't go out and watch guys uh, throw in person, as you mentioned. So you've got to be as astute as you possibly can be watching their game tape. Or if they have um, – practice tape when they're throwing in a workout or something like that to figure out if they have any major issues and what, what they are and so on and so forth. But it's been okay. I, but like I said, I, I do much better one-on-one than freaking Zoom, man. It's going back a while with, with Heinrich now, but you didn't get a chance to go see him work out live. So where was he compared to what you thought you might have when he got here? Real, uh, pretty clean. He, he really was. There, there was not a, a heck of a lot to do, seriously. Um, sometimes those young guys are taught that you, you really want to throw over the top. You got to get your elbow and all that sort of crazy stuff. When it just comes right down, just throw the damn thing to some degree, you know. But he's, he's, he's pretty clean. So he's learning our drop backs and the mechanics with regards to those and how they apply to different uh, pass routes and pass patterns and so on and so forth. But um, he was a pretty clean cat. What we saw on tape was pretty much what we got, which was good. Yeah, he seems he seems really healthy right now, and he he looks good. He's running well, throwing the ball well. So, um, as far as I can tell, right now uh, he's uh, he's golden. We didn't yeah. talk to you, I don't think much after the quarterback stuff switched up last year. How much did age or anything grow from that experience of being benched and coming back in and taking over and, and playing strong down the stretch? Well, um, I I think any time uh, you have a from his perspective, a setback like that, and you don't learn from it, there, there's, there's, there's a problem. And um, we had a, a good heart-to-heart, you know. Um, and so I, I, I think he grew a lot as a quarterback. He's a pretty mature young guy to begin with from a behavior standpoint, just how he, how he uh, carries himself, you know. Uh, does that always translate over to how you are as a quarterback, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Um, so I think he learned quite a bit from that experience. How hard was that for you back then to make that call, to, to bench him? Because um, obviously it ended up not working out, and him, the way he played, probably was the right guy maybe all along the play. The way well, I, number one, I, I don't make those calls. That, that, those are Coach Frost's decisions. He asked me what I thought, and I told him what I thought. And I told Adrian the exact reason um, – why it needed to happen. Um, but, you know, there, you all have children, or some of you have pets or dogs, or, and you love them to death, man, you know? Um, so he's like your son. And um, sometimes those things uh, are difficult to, 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 to tell them the truth about themselves. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's not always easy, but it needs to be done. And, and that part of the, if you will, the four domains of learning, that affective domain part sometimes can be the most difficult of things, uh, just in terms of the communication, the things that, that you are re- required uh, to say. Yeah. But, you know, he and I have a, a tremendous relationship. And um, those lines of communication um, we're wide ass open. Excuse my French. When we recruited him, when he came here, and they're and they're and they're still they're still wide open. So. With the way college football is now in general, does it ever surprise you when you have a quarterback leave? Did, did it surprise you when when Luke decided to leave? Uh, well, I'd rather stick to talking about the guys that are with us than 
anybody else. But um, I guess in this climate with the portal, and I guess nothing ever surprises you. <laughs> I feel good about Maddie. He's 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 doing real well right now. He he's another young guy that not only gained um, some some mass, muscle mass, good lean uh, lean weight, but also was faster by two tenths of a second on his forty than he was when he got here, which is a I'm just telling it's a tribute to Coach Duvall and Stropping those guys, but also to Maddie's work ethic. So he's he's bigger and he's stronger and he's faster. And he's, he's, he's doing really well right now. How much will Heinrich and Logan's development this spring depend on whether or not you pursue a quarterback in the offseason? Ask that again. How much will Logan and Heinrich's development this spring depend on whether or not you bring in another quarterback in the offseason? Yeah. I, I think Coach Frost had addressed that at some particular point in time. And, um, you know, we're just going to have to see. Um, obviously, that, that's going to have uh, some bearing on it, no doubt. Well, that, that's a great, you know, that, that's, a, that's a great question, man. Um, and there's a variety of ways to come at it. I just, I, I just, I very rarely have been around quarterbacks who aren't self-motivated to do as best as they can, regardless of who's behind them. Um, I would have never in a million years anticipated that Adrian maybe needed that. I just, I just, I would not have, you know, um, so um, here we are now. Don't allow that same sort of thing to take place a second time around. Go out and make certain you're, you're, you're focused on competing against yourself and you're getting better every day uh, based on your own personal performance, not anybody else. Good question, though. Appreciate it. Good seeing you guys.